And thanks for coming over to help me move all this stuff. Hey, anytime. What's in all these boxes? Well, some of it's my mom's, some of it's my grandfather's. I guess she just wants me to throw all of it out. Why does your mom want to throw away your grandpa's all this stuff? I don't really know. I used to be close. I guess something must have changed. How's young when he passed? So, uh, you got any ideas yet for your screenplay? Uh, I was gonna write about an actor who sleepwalks and he wakes up in different places and always gets into trouble because of it. I don't know. No, that sounds good, man. What about you? Well, I think I'm gonna do something for when we were little kids, but I'm not sure yet. Nice. I hope one of us wins. Certainly help pay the rent. Hey, what's that on the sofa? Well, this, it's just an old walkie-talkie radio that was in one of my grandpa's boxes. Does it work? I don't know. Let's see. Hello? Is anyone there? I don't think so. Alright, well, I'm gonna work on my screenplay. Should probably do the same. Alright, man. Thanks for helping me move all that junk earlier. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, I, I can hear you. Who is this? My name is Chris. Who's this? This is... This is Chris also. What's up? Um, nothing? Did you call a minute ago? I called like an hour ago. Did, did you just get it? Where are you? Weird. Hey, Chris, what's up? Hey, man. Do you remember my grandfather's radio? Yeah. Did you talk to that guy again? How do you remember that? I was there when he called you. Did he call you again? Dude, you, you gotta be more careful with this stuff. So that actually happened. What the hell are you talking about? Oh, well, never mind. Don't worry about it. You sure you're okay, Chris? Yeah, yeah. Ah, shit. What? Did you forget your notebook again? I really needed it. I'm, I'm screwed. Us. You brought that to class? Hang on, I have an idea. Hey Chris, you there? Hey, is this Chris? Yeah, listen, when you leave today, don't forget to bring your notebook. Oh crap, I almost forgot. Wait, how did you know? <laughs> don't worry about it, just trust me. Alright, wait, why do you sound familiar? Listen, don't worry about it. Just remember your, to bring your notebook. Yeah, I've got it. Hey, you remembered your notebook? <laughs> yeah, I did. Yeah, 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 this is Chris. Hey Chris, uh, when is this? May 2012. Ah, senior year. You're probably working on your screenplay, right? What, when are you speaking from? Is this me? Yeah, I'm about 10 years down the road. So what's it like? You know that 77 Camaro we always wanted? I drive that to work. <laughs> That's sick! Oh yeah. So how's the screenplay? Well, it's coming. Have you switched ideas yet? What? Uh, 
Well, I guess it doesn't make that much of a difference. We wind up switching the screenplay to a story about that time we got stuck in the woods with John when we were younger. That's genius. I should know. I wrote it. Just don't tell John. Well, why? Time paradox or something. Look, I probably shouldn't have even told you about this, but we write it anyway, so it shouldn't change too much. Alright, well, thank you. I finished. Huh? My screenplay. You're gonna love it, man. I can't wait to read it. Yeah. It's about the time that uh, you and I got stuck in the woods when we were in seventh grade. Oh. Yeah, I kind of used you as more of a comic relief, but you were always cracking jokes back then anyway, so I figured it's alright. Yeah, that's... That's great, man. You gotta love it. Yeah, I, I can't wait to read it. I'm sorry. How could you not have known? We submitted similar stories. After John loses, it becomes a bit of a sore subject. He never mentions the contest or the screenplay. Oh. It was a big coincidence. You weren't supposed to find out yet. Hey, I'm heading to work. Alright, man. See you later. Hey, is John off to work? Yeah. Street, he gets in an accident. Tell him to take the back roads. You should have told me earlier. John, I heard there's an accident on Main Street, so you should probably take the back roads. Alright, thanks, man. Are John and I still close after everything? It doesn't matter. What do you mean it doesn't matter? Because the accident doesn't happen on Main Street. It happens on the back roads. What are you talking about? Look, you've got to understand. What the hell happens to John? Truck flips over, causing all other cars to fall off the ledge. No one survives. And don't bother trying to call. You know he doesn't answer his phone while he's driving. John, listen, you don't have to take this road. <laughs> You can take the main roads, please stop! Why the hell did you do this?! Because he wins, and I ended up with nothing. So you wanted me to steal his idea? It wins an Oscar. It makes millions. That asshole never talks to us anymore. You're lying. What do you know? I know John better than that. He wouldn't do that. It doesn't matter. You can't fix it. <laughs> yes, I can. How? I'm not gonna listen to you anymore. So you're gonna throw away an Oscar-winning idea? If we didn't win it, we don't deserve it. Listen to me, you little shit. You ruin this chance, I'll have nothing. I'm offering you a guaranteed chance at the good life. You're making a mistake! Hello? Hey, dude, I got your message and pulled over. Is everything all right? Yeah. <laughs> Everything's fine. 